All right, so today we're going to talk about partitioning a directed line segment, or sometimes they call it a partitioning a segment. So I'm going to start by actually just drawing out the segment that they want. So in number one, they're given points A and B, and I'm going to plot those first. So A is at negative one, two. All right, and then B is at seven, eight. All right, so I'm going to read the problem. So it says, given the points A and B, find the po uh, coordinates of point P on the directed line segment so that AB is in the ratio of 1 to 3. Plot the point of point P along the segment AB. So ratio 1 to 3 is really important. So we want to cut our segment. So I'm going to actually just draw a segment up here. We want to cut our segment one to three so what that's going to look like is we have four pieces one two three four pieces and we want to be able to have a ratio of one to three so here is one piece by itself and then the three to the other side we need to find that point p of where that's going to land on that line so what I'd like to do first is write the ratio, one to three. Sometimes it's going to be written as a fraction or it could be written like this as well. And what I'd like to do is say one to three, well, that tells me it's four pieces. So I know that I need to go a fourth of the way. Now, how can I see that it's a fourth of the way? I see that it's a fourth of the way because of the one on the numerator and the four on the denominator that I just created. So now when I find the fourth of the way, I have to find the fourth of the way of traveling for X and traveling for Y. So I start off by writing my starting point, which is A, traveling to B. So now I'm gonna look at my X coordinates first and only my X coordinates. So my X coordinate, is negative 1 to 7. So again, I looked up here in my ordered pairs, 1 to 7. So that means I am traveling from negative 1 all the way to the right 7 units. How many units in total am I traveling? So I am traveling a total of 8 units for my x. So I want to find a fourth of that. Again, a fourth of that is because of that ratio we started with. So I'm going to take a fourth of eight, and that will give me two. So that tells me how many units I'm going to be traveling from my original location. So again, I started at negative one, and I'm going to add. Two, that's our value that we found, and that's going to tell me my new point for my x coordinate. So negative one plus two is positive one. So that's our x coordinate. I'm going to repeat this process for my y value. Okay, I'm drawing another line again just because I like to break up my work so it doesn't overlap. And then I'm going to start the same process over again. So here, my y value, going back to my original order pairs, is 2, ending at 8. So how many units am I traveling from 2 to 8 on my y-axis? So that is 6 in total. We're going to figure out what a fourth of that way is, like we did in the previous problem. Again, using that same ratio. And when I multiply, I will get 1.5. So 1.5 is what we're going to use to add from our starting point. Again, our starting point was 2 for our y value. And we are going to add 1.5. 
And when we do, we get 3.5. So P, that new point that will make this true from the ratio 1 to 3, is 1, 3.5. All right, now plotting it on our coordinate plane, we go to 1, and right about here to the best of our abilities for plotting, 3.5, and label it P. And looking at that graph, you can see here's that one piece to three. All right, so I would like you to try number two on your own so you can pause your screen and then we'll go over it. All right, so let's look at number two. So number two says that we want to find point P on segment AB with a ratio of five to one. And A is two, four, and B is eight, ten. All right, so first, my ratio. My ratio is 5 to 1, which means I have a total of 6 pieces. I want to have my point 5 first, then to 1. So I want 5 sixths of the way of my line. So I'm going to start with point A, travel to B. So A is 2 for my X coordinate and 8 for my ending for B. So how many did we travel from 2 to 8 is 6. And we are using 5 6 of the way. And that will give us 5 when we multiply. Remember that this number will tell us how much we need to move from our starting point. So our starting point was two, and we're gonna add that five. So our new X value is going to be seven. We're gonna repeat the process again for our Y value. So again, I like to break that apart. So here we have four and 10. How many spaces are traveling from four to 10? That is six as well. We are still traveling five sixths of the way. And when I multiply, that gives me five. I'm going to take my starting point for my y coordinate, which was four, add five, and my new y coordinate is nine. So P for this situation would be seven, comma, nine. All right, so that's how we find the partitioning of a directed line segment, finding that P coordinate. All right, we're going to try some more problems in class. Talk to you guys soon.